did you know that hanging can heal your body? Yes, you heard that right. Hanging isn't just for the playground or the jungle gym. It's a simple yet powerful exercise that can bring about profound changes in your body's mobility, spine health, shoulder mechanics, and posture. Imagine an exercise so basic that it doesn't discriminate based on your fitness level or age. That's the beauty of hanging. It's all about leveraging gravity and your own body weight to improve your health. And the best part? You don't need fancy gym equipment or an expensive membership. All you need is something sturdy enough to hold your weight. But don't be fooled by its simplicity. Hanging increases grip strength, which is a key indicator of overall health and even longevity. Intrigued yet? Stick around if you want to learn more about how this simple activity can improve your overall health. So, how does hanging actually work to heal your body? Well, let's dive right into the science of it. Hanging is a simple yet effective exercise that utilizes the force of gravity to our advantage. When you hang from a bar, your body weight creates a natural stretch along your spine. This stretch, in turn, decompresses the vertebrae, providing relief from the compressive forces we experience daily due to activities like sitting, walking, or even standing. This decompression is beneficial for several reasons. Firstly, it aids in maintaining the health and elasticity of our spinal discs, which act as shock absorbers between the vertebrae. Secondly, it can alleviate back pain and discomfort caused by the compression of these discs. On to the shoulders now. Our modern lifestyle often leads to hunched shoulders and poor posture. Hanging works wonders here too. When you hang, your shoulders are pulled into their natural position. This increases the range of motion and improves mobility. Plus, it can also help in correcting postural issues. Now let's talk about grip strength. You might wonder, why is grip strength important? Well, believe it or not, grip strength is a significant predictor of mortality. A study published in the The Lancet found that every 5 kilogram decline in grip strength was associated with a 17% higher risk of death from any cause. When you hang, the act of gripping the bar strengthens your hand and forearm muscles, improving your overall grip strength. And remember, a stronger grip doesn't just mean a firmer handshake, it's linked with longer life expectancy and better overall health. As we've discussed, hanging is not just about stretching your body, it's about improving spine health, enhancing shoulder mobility, and boosting grip strength. It's about using gravity as a tool for health and wellness. And the best part? It's an exercise that requires minimal equipment and can be done practically anywhere. As you can see, hanging is more than just a playground activity. It's a science-backed exercise. Now, let's dive deeper into one specific type of hanging exercise, the dead hang. You might ask, what exactly is a dead hang? Well, it's as simple as it sounds. Imagine hanging from a bar, your body relaxed, your feet off the ground, and your arms fully extended. The only thing working? Your hands gripping that bar tight. Performing this seemingly effortless exercise might surprise you with its numerous benefits. Let's start with posture. In today's world, where many of us spend hours hunched over computers or smartphones, poor posture is a common issue. The dead hang can be a game changer here. As you hang, the weight of your body naturally stretches your spine, helping to correct alignment and reduce the risk of back problems. It's like a chiropractor appointment, but without the appointment. Moving on to grip strength. Did you know that a firm grip is not only handy when opening jars, but is also a predictor of longevity? Interesting, right? The dead hang, with its reliance on your hands holding your entire body weight, can significantly enhance your grip strength, and who knows, maybe even add a few years to your life. And let's not forget about shoulder health. The dead hang can help reduce the risk of shoulder injuries by improving shoulder mobility and stability. As you hang, the various muscles, ligaments, and joints in your shoulders are stretched and strengthened, helping to maintain their functionality and resilience. But that's not all. The dead hang can also help reduce stress and anxiety. Just think about it. You're hanging there, focusing on your grip, your body relaxed. It's a moment of calm in a busy day. A moment where you're not just hanging physically but also metaphorically, hanging onto a moment of peace. So there you have it. The dead hang is not just a simple exercise, it's a powerhouse of benefits. From improved posture and increased grip strength to reduced risk of shoulder injuries and stress relief, the dead hang is a one-stop shop for whole body wellness. So why not give it a try? Your body might just thank you for it. The dead hang is not just a simple exercise, it's a powerhouse of benefits. If you want to push your body to the limits, consider trying one arm hanging. This exercise, as the name suggests, involves hanging from a bar using just one arm rather than two, as in a traditional dead hang. 
One arm hanging is a step up from the dead hang. It's like the difference between a leisurely jog and a full-out sprint. The additional challenge comes from the fact that you're now relying on the strength of a single arm, engaging more muscles and pushing your grip strength to its maximum potential. The benefits of one arm hanging extend beyond just an increase in grip strength. This exercise also offers a fantastic way to increase shoulder mobility. You see, when you hang from one arm, your shoulder is forced to rotate and stabilize in a way that it wouldn't during a two-arm hang. This can lead to improved shoulder health and a greater range of motion. But that's not all. One-arm hanging can also contribute to improved core strength. As you hang from a single arm, your core muscles have to work extra hard to keep your body stable and aligned. This means that while you're increasing your grip strength and improving shoulder mobility, you're also giving your abs a great workout. Although it's more challenging, one arm hanging also provides a unique opportunity to focus on unilateral strength, that is, the strength of one side of your body. It's an excellent way to identify and correct any imbalances in your strength and mobility. Finally, one arm hanging can also help improve your posture. As you hang from one arm, you're forced to engage your back muscles to keep your body upright. This can lead to a stronger, healthier back, and ultimately, better posture. So while one arm hanging might seem daunting, there's no denying the multitude of benefits it offers. Increased grip strength, improved shoulder mobility, enhanced core strength, better posture, the list goes on and on. One arm hanging might be challenging, but its benefits are certainly worth the effort. Scene script. Convinced about the benefits of hanging, here's how you can incorporate it into your routine. Firstly, let's talk about frequency. As with any new exercise, start slow. You could begin by hanging two to three times a week. This gives your body time to adjust to the new movement and helps prevent any potential strain or injury. Remember, consistency is key here. Now, how long should you hang? Initially aim for about 10 to 20 seconds per hang. As your strength and endurance improve, gradually increase your hang time. You might surprise yourself by how quickly you progress. Before you know it, you'll be hanging for a minute or more. It's important to note that hanging is not just about duration, it's also about form, Make sure you're maintaining a good posture throughout your hang. Your body should be straight, your shoulders should be engaged, and your grip should be firm, but not overly tight. To gradually increase the intensity of your hanging exercise, you can try different variations. For example, you could start with a two-arm hang and then progress to a one-arm hang. You could also experiment with different grip styles or add in some leg raises for an extra challenge. Remember, it's not a race. It's about listening to your body and progressing at a pace that's right for you. If you feel any discomfort or pain during your hang, it's a sign that you might be pushing yourself too hard or not using the correct form. Don't hesitate to take a break or seek advice from a fitness professional if needed. As for where to hang, the world is your playground. You could use a pull-up bar at your local gym, a tree branch in a park, or even install a bar in your own home. Just make sure whatever you're hanging from is sturdy and safe. Finally, Try to incorporate hanging into your warm-up or cool-down routine. It's a great way to prepare your body for a workout or to help your muscles recover afterwards. With these tips, you can easily make hanging a part of your fitness journey. To sum it all up, the act of hanging, such a simple movement, packs a tremendous punch when it comes to your overall health. With its roots in our primate ancestry, hanging exercises have evolved into a potent tool for enhancing our physical well-being in the modern world. From improving the health of your spine to refining your shoulder mechanics, it's a holistic approach to fitness that you can incorporate into your routine with ease. Hanging exercises, whether it's a dead hang or the more advanced one-arm hang, can also boost your grip strength. Now, grip strength isn't just about having a firm handshake. It's a vital indicator of overall health and even longevity. So it's more than just a workout. It's a way to future-proof your body. So next time you see a bar, remember, Hanging isn't just for kids, it's a powerful exercise that can heal your body.